Thank you very much, Yinsu, for that one. It is time to determine the history of VCT EMEA 2022. We see new teams, we also see a few old faces, but right now we're here to figure out how will the groups look like. And to determine that, and to figure that one out, I got some very special guests to my right-hand side. First of all, we got Charlie, who's taking care of the integrity side of things here, and we obviously got Ringers, a man you might have seen before a few times, as he is the head of Valorant Esports EMEA. Ringers, 2021 was one hell of a year. The ink hasn't fully dried yet. How do you feel about the upcoming year, all the teams that are going to participate with our, within our region? Yeah, you're certainly right. 2021 was a, was a pretty amazing year. Um, Valorant Esports overall, but Valorant Namia in particular. Um, we're going to top it, though. Uh, <laughs> When you think of the sheer number of pro players that are amazing, the teams that we have here in EMEA, it's amazing. And no matter what the group draw looks like today, I know we're going to be in for some amazing games throughout the year, and I can't wait to watch them. I mean, EMEA teams have been on the throne last year a good chunk of times. But to pretty much explain to you what is going to happen right here, we got Charlie. Charlie, just give us a little idea. How do those rules look like when we're about to draw those teams any second soon? Yeah, sure thing. So the teams will be drawn from one pool at a time, starting with pool one, followed by pool two, and then finally pool three. The drawn teams will be placed into groups in alternative order, group A, then group B, group A, and then group B, until all teams within that pool have been placed. A maximum of two teams from each pool can be placed into the same group. Additionally, teams from the same qualifier cannot be placed into the same group. And that's it. Easy as that. That's really not too difficult. What is going to be a bit difficult is going to be the upcoming season because there's a lot of clashing going to happen. The best teams in the EMEA region are going to fight against each other. But we got some coaches to figure out who would they not like to fight against and who are they looking forward to. The European VCT Stage 1 uh, group, group draw is upon us. And I wanted to give you a few insights on how do we feel about the group draw. And the teams that we maybe would like to avoid, I think it would be the... The team that makes it out of the second CES qualifier, uh, because um, I feel like Russians are super, super hard working and they're always super dangerous. But no matter what, no matter which team gets uh, drawn into our group, it's going to be unlucky for them because we're going to come out of, on top. So the team I would love to play the most uh, is big. For me, it's an interesting uh, matchup between Angel and Gobi in terms of IGLing and in terms of uh, strategies. Uh, the team I would love to play the least is probably Ascend. We would like to see Liquid and Gambit in our group because I think those will be great matches, but still I think that we will go big against every team in EMEA. Ascend prefers to rather dodge that second CIS team. Big is extremely cocky. It is going to be one hell of a year. But to once more get, give you a brief overview which teams we're about to see, let's take a look at our little overview that we've created for you, where we see 12 teams in three different pools that are about to qualify and to be drawn. In pool number one, we have Ascent, Gambit, Liquid, as well as Fnatic, the four teams that got so deep during Valorant Champions 2021. Pool two will be Guilt, Big, SMB, as well as FPX. You've seen those teams fight it out in qualifier number one. And the final and third pool will be G2, the second team of the European qualifier number two, that would be London versus XL. We have the second Turkish qualifier, which then would also be BBL versus Footballist, and to round it out, it is the final winner of the second qualifier of the CIS region, Navi versus Five Smokes. The great part about all of this, it's not only us free talking here, we have all or a few teams with us to see their reaction when we get into the group drawing. We're going to see them behind us, a few familiar faces. You might have seen some of those. Oh, well, a lot of them, to be frank. There's also Gob, you know, there's, there's NBS from Ascend. We got Yampi, we got Boaster, who's still looking to find a trophy, and also the guys from SMB as well. <laughs> Sorry, man, I had to do that. Either way, going away from that, we have the team's reactions. We will see them throughout this wonderful draw. And finally, it is time to get into it. Those three pools were obviously starting with the first one. Charlie, please be so kind. Pick up the cards and make it ready because we have ringers with the honor to draw the teams of those two groups. There you see the four teams that participated for our Champions 2021. All of them made the playoff stage. All of them played some extremely good Valorant. 
And with the cards being set on the table, the honor is yours. Bringers, please. It's about to start with Group A. Who's gonna lead the charge? It's gonna be Gambit. Masters free winners and the Russian powerhouse to lead Group A, as they are the ones who will be set just on the top of that list. Amazing to see that team right there. And this brings us in just a second to our second draw. Feel free. Leading Group B will be Fnatic as Poster still looks for, you know, anything to find there, but he's happy. He's going to be leading the list. He's going to lead the charge of Group B. Well, there's still five, four or five more teams to draw in that Group B, so it's going to be interesting who we will pair up with. This brings us to team number three. Feel free, Ringers. Team Liquid will join the guys from Gambit. And that is very clear. You see it in the eyes of, of NBS right there, what he feels. But Yampi's like, yeah, I'm fine with that. That's cool. I'm going to take that group. No worries. As we have two of the six teams for Group A set. And this brings us to our final team. Ringers, your turn. And who could it be then Ascent? As they are about to be sent in Group B. It might be very surprising. I didn't even expect that. You see, NVS is absolutely in shock of what happened there. But, well, they were joining Fnatic, which is going to be an interesting start of the group. We have a quite fairly balanced one. We could have had both finalists in that one. But that is not the case, which makes it more balanced. And talking about balancing, Charlie, the stage is yours. Please feel free to get us those second set of cards ready. This right here, those are the teams that made it through qualifier number one. So big FBX, SMB, as well as skills. As they're gonna be put on the table, we right now are about to determine who's gonna join group A, who's gonna join group B. Ringers, please feel free. And so we're gonna start off. Gambit and Liquid will find a third team right now. It's gonna be big as the German powerhouse joins Gambit as well as Team Liquid. And Gob and Kundi Kundi are looking there and be like, yep, yeah, that's fine. I can deal with that. No real problem. As they have done a splendid run for that first qualifier. I think nobody had them really there to make it that far. And as we go on, taking about talking about making it that far, the second card, please, Ringers. Group B still look for their third, and it's going to be Super Massive Blaze. We'll join Ascent as well as Team Fnatic. And those guys are so far fine with it. Take a look at them. Don't leave him hanging. Thankfully, he doesn't do so. All right, Fnatic Ascent in Supermassive Blaze. We are already 50% through this, but there are still two more cards to draw from this pool. It's your turn. And this brings us to Guilt. They are heading into Group B. As we have told you earlier, the two European teams that are played in the same qualifier for, will not end up in the same group. Big and Guild in Group A would have not been possible, so they are switching over to Group B, joining Fnatic, Ascent, and Super Massive Blaze. And this brings us to our final card. FPX. The momentum is building, and we can all feel it as they are joining that group A and Doom Bros is so thankful. Thank God it's not a send. And he's he's flexing his muscles there for the right reason. Group A and Group B got four teams for each of those. And this brings us, dear Charlie, to our final set of cards. The final pool, the final four teams. As we only know one of them by now, we have a few placeholders set ready for you. G2, as well as the qualifying winners, as well as the second seed from Europe. The cards are being put on the table. The final four slots are about to be determined right here. Once more, bringers, the last time. And as we're setting it ready, Group A is going to see the second team of the close qualifier number two. That would either be London or XL, as we're about to figure it out today. All right, we got now three more teams left. And this brings us to Group B where Fnatic, Ascent, Supermassive Blaze, as well as Guild are waiting for our next team. Your turn. And the card is going to be the winner of the second Turkish qualifier, BBL or Footballist. One of the two will join their Turkish friends of SMB, and you see them smiling and cheering right there, being quite excited for that inter-regional duel. And so we head into the last two cards. One more time, please. 
G2. And they are will they will be put in group B. Same as previously, the both teams that made it through EU close qualifier will not be put in the same group. So we're gonna see them rounded out in group B. Fnatic, Ascent, SMB Guild, winner of the Turkish close qualifier number two and G2 Esports. Which brings us to our final card. And that is going to be the CIS close qualifier number two winner. And it seems for me that the dream of NBS came true. He doesn't have to play against that CIS team. He's done and he's ready to fight. You see Boaster right there. He wants to punch them all directly in the face. Man's ready to fight and I love it. Great guy. I mean, that's what we love him for. Oh, all right. I mean, this has been a wonderful little show we got ourselves here. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. But most importantly, thank you guys for coming. Thank you very much for making this possible. We have an exciting year up ahead of us. And to once more recap what groups we have, let's take a look at that once more again to make sure you all are up to speed with the two groups we're going to see throughout stage one. Gambit will lead the pack of Group A, followed by Liquid, Big, FPX, as well as the second seed of the European Close Qualifier number two, that would be London or XL, as well as the CIS Closed Qualifier winner number two, that would be Navi versus Five Smokes. Group B is being led by Fnatic, followed up by our champions 2021 winner Ace Ascent, Supermassive Blaze, as well as Guild join it. And so we round it up with the Turkish Close Qualifier winner number two, which would be BBL, a footballist, and G2. We have our 12 teams set. And this is going to be a wonderful first season of Valorant EMEA Champions, pardon, Challengers 2022. Thank you very much. We're going to head back to the desk.